Fala galera, tranquilo? Estou aqui no início do vídeo para convidar todos vocês para participar da nossa comunidade Aleartes, um grupo relacionado especialmente para CSGO. Vamos trocar bastante ideia sobre o jogo, sorteios, lobbies, mix com a galera e outras novidades exclusivas para todos que estiveram no grupo. Então não perde tempo, é de graça e infelizmente as vagas são limitadas. Link vai estar na descrição do vídeo, basta descer a tela aí e entrar, fechou? Vejo todos vocês lá, é nóis guys! And they will soon find three players here. Bigger Zero is going to have to dance around Triple as Skulls faces first from CT. Zebby's here as well. We might have some counter flashes. Indeed, we do. Bombs dropped now. Team Liquid trying to fight back as they are down on the numbers. More flashes coming through. Elige by Sandwich needs to put in some work as he's alone versus four now. Not lasting long either. Skulls with a third. Plenty of util. a big opening kill then for Pain Gaming, especially when it's Yakindar going down. He is such a problem around Connector, be it T side or CT side. So that's definitely an opening frag you want. Four riflers remain as we see OC by the chair. Naf will be carrying the bomb towards top mid and Pain Gaming are looking super sharp at the beginning of this one. Winning the duels with the CT weapons. Team Liquid don't yet have a response. Hodzao Nekes repositioning over towards B. Nekes has great off angle towards short, but Elise will trade at the very least. Now Hodzao has not played his hand yet. He'll have the sound cues popping out of the MP9. Two plays lost will be fine. A great start to that round. Well, team Liquid players have a slow start here. Zevi just pre-aiming that boost area. OC out of the round instantly. I want another one for Zevi. This mid control is fantastic from Pain. Liquid are getting straight up spanked right now. Hawker normally pays for this kind of service. There's some revenge then as two players make their way over. Hard's out. Basically, a fundamental part of Mirage is getting that mid control on T side. Gives you the extra options to work Delayed with. Late take from Liquid. Have got that control fully now, and Yakindar goes for that wide swing, but hasn't had the best start here, and he goes down again. Lekas has caused giant problems. A second frag around the mid area. There's only two players on the A ramp for Liquid. Nitro is very far away, and that could have been a painful one for Naf, but his jiggling will be good enough for a brief moment anyway. Zevi able to survive in CT, but Ooh. he'll get barbecued eventually. And OC in the clutch again, not for long though. Bombs lost. And again, Nitro has been on the rotation. Oh, guess his bell rung. Neck is from short. Yeah, Liquid need to solve this mid situation soon because he is lacking the freedom that he likes to enjoy the luxuries of. Neck is, is a giant problem so early on here as well for Team Liquid. So if he's got problems if he re picks the connector position, no, but he's at least ready for the first one. And he's got the information as to where the bomb is. Two versus four. Naf has the information. Naf and Nitro. And now just Naf. Make it doable once again, but he's got to be so committed to that bomb, and that smoke will slow things down. Two players, two angles in the short term, as Nekes can keep an eye on the window, playing an off angle as well. But, oh, Naf close, but not quite. Nekes with another second on the clock. We still feel like an eternity. And short is going to be a problem. Zevi seen them start to make his way their way in. And they'll get the trade at least, Yakinda. The bigger zero is in CT as well. We said short would be a problem. And indeed it will be. And this is what, this is killing some time as well for Team Liquid. They're going to try and rotate towards Bia, it looks like. But they've lost the bot, committing to the bomb plot. Bigger zero through the window. There's a 1v1 for a liege and he will survive it. Down to half health now. Where is Skulls coming from? He's got no idea. Holding an angle on the market. And Skulls comes to the window. And it'll be a free kill for oh, Elise. Under that situation, despite being mollied out. And Yakinda, well, he's walked into the open, but was not ready for Skulls to be in that somewhat unexpected position there, just out in the open. Bomb, he's still coming back to A right now. 40 seconds remaining, so they can leave their options open. And with Nitro finding that pick towards mid, they're still going towards A here. But they've got one for one. Dosi might feel uncomfortable now with that bomb. Look at this push from Nekis, though. They don't have as much space as they think they may have. It would be a gamble. With 20 seconds, there's no rotation to be had now. Nekis is heading towards the underpass as Nitro edges on 
through Connector. I see clearing the shadow position. And soon we'll have two. Oh, hold on a second. Nekes is here, but he's not going to have an angle. He's got to deal with Nitro first. He's got a grenade in his hand. That'll be a free kill. But where is the bomb planter? OC in the clutch with an AK rather than the AWP. We saw great clutches from him last week, but is he ready versus Pain Gaming? They've been so strong so far. A jiggle from Nekes. Hardzow moves into a stronger angle. OC knows there's an orb. The flash won't be enough, though. And Pain Gaming will move to 8 to the 3 of Team Liquid. I wonder if Nekes is maybe going to go, or someone's maybe going to go for an aggressive play in B apartments. There's going to be a boost on default on A on B. At the same time, Zevi will be dropped towards the A bomb site, and Skulls is in trouble now. There are so many players coming from Connector. There's no crossfire just yet. It's hard Zow's on the way by Jungle. No one's looking here just yet. Down goes Nitro. He took his time, Skulls. And he might catch a leisure as well. He doesn't seem to have any idea. Where's the Yakinda? The trade's there eventually, but the bomb's on the floor. 2v2, 20 seconds now. Both CTs in jungle. Going for a default plant. Body blocking from Yakinda. No kit on this occasion. No Molly. Maybe an AK upgrade for Nekiz. Never mind. OC denies. And hard Zao's off as well. Dispatched off. Seems they will. Nitro could get caught off guard here. What does OC do? Point of no return. The CTs are falling back, though, which means they won't see him. And he's carrying the bomb. Looking towards Palace. But Yakinda is through connector as per usual. But Zevi will save the day in that regard. Uh, Zevi from CT with that AWP just spotted him. And now he commits to the bomb site. Picking Team Liquid apart here. The initial aggression turns into Liquid getting caught out by that angle. And now OC alone in ramp with the bomb. Has to be a little careful. Liquid needs something special to make this round work. Oh, good luck, Naf. In Palace the whole round, your 1v5. And Big Uzera will close it. 9-6 at the half for Pain. A little recovery. Comes the end of the first map. We're into the second half. We had a great pistol round from them on the CT side. Super Mario Brothers on the T side as they head into the A bomb side, but Nitro will enact some revenge as far as pistol rounds are concerned with the opening frag. Looking to pop Zevi, he will do exactly that. Bomb planted three on five then for Paint. Leech coming through with two pistols, one for each hand. There are still more flashes here. OC's got one in the hand. Neck is looking for a second frag, but Leech will deny him with those jewelies. Bigger Zero's got the range, but does he have the angles? Trying to get a little closer. The smoke is up. He has no idea the bomb is being defused, it seems. Aiming too high as well. Nash goes through the smoke. Takes one for the team. Elige comes in. Elige this time. Oh, doesn't expect him to be down below. Nath not covering his teammate. And it's a flurry of frags here for Payne. They're looking great right now. Nitro unable to do anything. And it's an instant bounce back from Payne. Nice. Look at Nekas swinging through the site. We've got smokes up in jungle. Not in time, though. He did make it pretty far about that smoke, however. You can see Figure Zero making his way through towards B. So I think we're going for that classic versus pro strat where you plant for short. And that is your security blanket. Elige going for a flank towards T-Spawn then. As Team Liquid will bide their time. They've only got two defuse kits on these players. OC looking for that flank. Maybe identifying their setup. And he is correct in that regard. That is going to cause them some problems though. Nav trying to find the right place to put the smoke so they can go for some kind of defuse or at least force these plays out into the light. But no one is really facing, and this is killing a lot of time. Nav and Yakinda, now just Yakinda with a kit, and that bomb is too far ticked. Great plays from Pain Gaming once again, storming this T side, moving to 13. Yeah, the play out of Swarm works perfectly. Now, in terms of map control, as I said, they've got nothing towards A whatsoever. OC can make any kind of play he wants. Bigger Zero has crept in towards mid, though. This is very interesting, but Hard Zauer needs to survive this one. This is just awkward from start to finish. You can see OC has the luxury to jiggle massively with that 5-7. And then there were three. Sevi with a bait there, peeking in front of the smoke, evens the numbers. Very nice play from him, but Yakindar's already close with an AK-47. Only OC has Kevlar, and he's got 12 HP, so this is only getting more weird as far as the situation for both these squads. 
OC has conceded his spot now as Big Azira is here. This makes the jungle somewhat useless, although he's kind of baiting for Naf. But Skulls is here as well, but does he have the correct angle? Naf is making steps as Big Azira is curious. They don't know that there are two players here. Big Azira gets both frags. Man, this has looked so, so awkward for Pain, but they will survive. Lovely round here from Big Uzera. OC not even able to get out alive. Just a play towards the B bomb site with a top con smoke. It's going to make Naf ask questions about where he should be standing. Big Uzera makes his way through, and suddenly there are advantages to be had. OC getting drops on CT changes everything. Liquid can't afford to lose anything else. Pain. Seem to be in some trouble after that first kill from Elige, but they have appeared to have solved the problem. Covering every single option, there always seems to be just a slight oversight in some of these rounds. Again, the mollies towards the top boxes in mid. Pain gaming have been difficult to figure out for Team Liquid. Oh, he could get short player as well. Yakindar goes down. Three oh. frags in a matter of seconds for Pain gaming. Team Liquid being dismantled like Lego. Naf's got 12 HP. It's him and OC versus the remainder of Pain to stay alive on Mirage. <laughs> Flash bounces back. It's all going wrong. And Molly might help. Oh, they're going to double swing and Flash. Eventually, the Molly gets the kill, but there's no time. I mean, you've got to go for it right now, guys. Smoke to the bomb. They're not on the bomb site just yet. It's going to be such a late one. OC trying Sick to cover it. the angles as the defuse is coming through. But Naf has been dropped and OC now has nothing else to do. 16 to 7. Pain Gaming storm Mirage over Liquid. I don't even know what to say about that. I think Liquid are going to have to do a lot of talking and try and get this one.